Hello students, welcome back again. Myself, Arun Sen Sek, Assistant Professor, Automobile Department, LGID. Today we are going to start our first chapter of the Transport Management and Law. In previous introductory session, we had a discussion regarding transport management system and basic modes of transportation system. So today we are going to discuss chapter number one, basic modes of the transportation systems and which are the importance of the low transportation system in our economy as well as industry. So let us discuss all the modes of transportation system one by one. Yes, first one is the road transportation system. See, in this particular chapter and in this particular subject, we are only learn about road, road transportation system and its authorized authority and its application and importance of the transportation system in economy as well as industrial aspect. So let us discuss its advantages and its application one by one. So first one, road transportation required very less capital compared to the rail transport, air transport and water transport. So this is the first main advantage of this system. Second thing is that road transport only provide door to door service compared to the other modes of transport. I can give you one first example, when you, when you have medical emergency at that time, you have only called road transportation services. You have not called with any air transportation services or road rail transportation services or any kind of water transportation services. So, road transportation provides door to door service compared to the other modes of the transportation. Third one is the flexible service and rural area, right? See, we have so many troubles in rural area. So at that time, road transportation provide flexible service compared to the other modes of the transport. Fourth one is the suitable for short distances. Like we have to go over a one kilometer, two kilometer, and at that time, rail, water, and air transportation system does not provide this facility. So road transportable is suitable for short distances and also rapid system provided by road transportation system. I can give you one best example of the rapid system is BRDS system. In heavy traffic areas and pick up hours, BRDS provides flexible and rapid service compared to the other modes of the transport. So rapid speed provided by the road transportation system compared to the other modes of the transport. Fourth, next one is the less cost. Yes, obviously. In heavy freight or light freight, road transportation provides cheaper rate compared to the other modes of the transport. So this is the main advantage of the road transportation system. In less cost, we can transfer or deliver more cargo compared to the other modes of the transport. Now we can hire our private own vehicle in road transportation facilities, but in air transport, water transport and road transport, we cannot hire any private vehicle. If we if you are going to hire in this transportation system, it is much costlier than road transportation system. So in this road transportation facility, we can hire private own vehicle compared to the other modes of the transport and fairness to the other modes of transport. Indirectly or directly, water transportation, air transportation and railway transportation system require road transportation system. I can give you one best example of the Amazon services. Whenever we are going to purchase any kinds of goods or bread or any materialistic things from Amazon, they can deliver their cargo fastest way to air transport. But door to door service provide only road transport system. For airport to door facility provided by only road transportation system. So this is the main advantage of the road transportation system. Now, second mode of the transportation is the rail transportation system. In our India, rail transportation widely popular and indirectly or directly play vital role in economy in our Indian economy. So which are the advantages of the road rail transportation system? So first one is the it provides dependable services. Right. Second one is the compared to road transport, rail transport is better organized and scheduled on time. So it is the main advantages of the rail transportation system and we can also say that rail transport provides large cargo freight capacity compared to the road transportation system. So this is the main advantage of the rail transportation system. 
Third one is the high speed over long distances. Suppose we have to deliver cargo from Eastern India or Southern India. At that time, we cannot prefer road transport. At that time, we have to choose rail transport, air transport, or water transport. But rail transport is more flexible compared to air and water transport over long distances. So it is the main advantage of the rail transportation system. And rail transport also provides high speed compared to the water transport and road transportation facilities. Now, suitable for bulky and heavy goods. We can deliver more than 1000 ton capacity cargo same time with the help of rail transportation system. So it is the main benefit and advantages of the rail transportation system. And it is not risky and very cheaper transportation system compared to the other modes of the transport system. So this is the main basic advantage of the rail transportation system. Now, I can tell you early that rail transportation provides cheaper, larger capacity compared to cheaper rail. So this is the main advantage of the rail transportation system. And Rail transportation service also provide administrative facility to governments and create employment opportunity compared to the other modes of the transport. So this is the main advantage of the rail transportation system. Now, these are the main advantages, but rail transportation system also have a several disadvantages. Like it will not provide door-to-door -door services and rail transport have monopoly in every aspect like fat rates, then passenger demands, then fare rates. So rail transport decide their own criteria and they have to apply all these criteria on directly on passengers and industrial assets. So it has a monopoly in our industry and this monopoly create by vacation with road transportation system, air transportation systems and water transportation system. So this is the main benefits and disadvantages of the road transportation system compared to road, air and water transportation system. So, and last one disadvantage of the rail transportation system is it is not unsuitable for short distances and small load capacity. See, a railway authority cannot provide short distance facility as well as carrying small load facilities, right? So, it is the main lagging point of the railway transport. Nowadays, in our city areas, Government going to start metro rails and motor rails with high demand of the passengers. So this is the main advantage right now in our transportation systems. And Indian railways have four highest employment in all over the world. And directly or indirectly, Indian railways run our economy also. So this is the main key features of the rail transportation system. Now, next one is the air transportation system. See, basic advantage of the air transportation system is the high speed. We can deliver cargo at high speeds and very very small capacity cargo also right so this is the main key features of the air transportation systems and air transport only known for a light load freight cargoes right so this is the basic advantage of the air transportation system and we can transfer easily from our we can transfer easily our cargo from air transport compared to the road transport and rail and water transportation systems, right? One basic advantage of this system is that it is a free from physical barriers. Uh, so many times you have faced issues like uh, uh, in railway transport, like there is a barrier, physical barriers like uh, some damages are there on, on tracks, then there are parking facilities and so many barriers in road transportation system as well as rail transportation systems. So this is the transportation system which we which is free from the physical barrier. So this is the main advantage of the air transportation system. So which are the disadvantages of the air transportation system? First one is the high cost, right? Compared to air, compared to rail, road and water transportation system, air transportation system is so much costly because it requires runways, private terminals, then ground staff, technical and non-technical staff. So, indirectly, it is the most costlier compared to the other modes of the transport. And due to air transportation function, it is more risky compared to the other modes of the transportation system. And obviously, there are huge capital required in air transport industry because aviation industries 
is so much costly as compared to the other modes of the transportation system. So these are the key features of the air transportation system. Now we are going to discuss about motor transportation system. So which are the advantages of the motor transportation system? First one is the less maintenance cost compared to the other modes of the transportation system. Second one is useful for bulky goods. I can say that motor transport deliver up to 2 lakh ton capacity cargo at a same time. So this is the main advantage of the water transportation system. Second thing is that useful during natural climate is. See, there are so many times we have to face natural climate is and at that time water transportation industry and water transport is so much advantageous compared to the other modes of the transportation system. So, water transport will provide useful during natural climate is. And it will also help defense, right? See, so many ports are there at which we have to we have to set up for a defense purposes. So at that time, water transport provides cargo facility, transportation facility of passengers, and transportation passengers, uh, transportation facility of the soldiers. So at that time, water transport is more useful compared to the other modes of the transports. And most important things. Water transportation system widely play important role in our economy also because with the help of foreign trade we can build our economy as well as we can strongly recommendation for the other countries. So indirectly or directly water transportation play an important role in foreign trade. These are the advantages of the system but there are also some disadvantages of the system. The first one is the slow speed and second one is the more risky. Obviously, compared to road, air and rail transport, water transport system is so slowly and more risky compared to the other modes of transport. See, these are the basic comparison of the road transportation system compared to the other modes of transportation system. First one is the availability, second one is the cost, third one is the door to door service, fourth one is the speed, fifth one is the heavy freight, and last one is the maintenance. So, these are the basic criteria which compare road transport with the other modes of the transport. We can say that road transport is easily available, low cost, provide door to door service, but have low speed and cannot carry heavy freight compared to the other modes of the transport. And obviously, road transport has very low maintenance compared to the other modes of the transportation system. So, this is the basic comparison of the road transportation system with rail transport, water transport, and air transportation systems. Right. And in the next lecture, we are going to discuss about driver health, safety and economy of the road transportation in our, economy aspect of the road transportation system in our country. So, thank you.